Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this is one of my most favorite projects I do. Um, in class, I'm actually gonna give a different size paper. It's gonna be more like this. It's gonna be a 12 inch by six inch paper, but this is probably the paper you have at home. This is your regular standard size paper. We are going to be making jellyfish on this piece of paper. And I want you guys, if you have them, to use something called oil pastels. If you don't have oil pastels, you can always use crayons. Crayons work totally fine for this project. If you guys remember, I have been telling you guys that I got um, paint donated to the art classroom. So we are gonna mix two things together. We're gonna mix oil pastels and paint. We're gonna paint next time. So hopefully you guys can get a hold of crayons and watercolor paint to be able to make this project. To make the jellyfish, we're gonna be making it out of oil pastels. This is what they look like. All of these beautiful colors. Um, oil pastels are actually made with an oil, and so the oil is going to resist the watercolor paint. Wherever we have oil pastels, when we paint the watercolor paint on top of it, it's going to bead right off and it's only going to soak into your paper. It is so cool. It does it with crayons as well. Wax crayons create a wax resist. Oil pastels create an oil resist. They work the same way, just these colors tend to blend together better. So oil pastels are for blending colors together. Crayons lay down a very nice color. Your paper also can't be your regular copy paper. It has to be a thicker construction paper so that when we paint on it, it doesn't get all warpy. If you have manila paper, you can use manila paper as well. Like I always say, use what you got. All right, my friends. Step number one is going to be drawing out lightly with a pencil. We are gonna use those sketch lines. Sketch lines is where you're not pushing super hard, you are lightly drawing out the shape. The shape of a jellyfish is very, very simple. All it is is a curved line and some wiggles at the bottom. And jellyfish do have those little tentacles that hang down, but I don't want you to draw them with pencil. We're gonna draw them with the oil pastels. And we'll talk about colors for the jellyfish here in a minute. Your placement of your jellyfish can be any way you want to, but I want to give this artwork dynamics. Dynamics is placed all over the paper, so your eye is not just looking in a straight line, but it is looking all over the paper. So one jellyfish here, one over here, and one over here. So they're like moving around. Your jellyfish can be different sizes. You can have little ones, you can have big ones, you can have as many as you want. If you want one really big jellyfish across the middle of the page, you can do that too. Now something cool about jellyfish is they don't have eyes like we have eyes. They are just floating little organisms and whatever goes into their tentacles is what they grab and they eat and they move it up into their little mouths called a beak. I love jellyfish. They are weird little creatures that are just so cool. All right, so to draw a jellyfish, remember light sketch lines. I'm going to make a medium sized one right here and a little bit of a wiggle. It almost looks like a ghost, kind of. There you go. All right, another one, maybe a little bit smaller over here. And a third one, maybe sideways, floating this way. All right, so I don't like this little bump I gave it. No big deal. Light sketch lines, not drawing very hard. Erase it. Make it the way you want it. There we go. Now I made a little bit more round because jellyfish are super round. They kind of are wide as well. Some wiggles. There's my jellyfish shape. 
erase some of these extra lines that I don't need. Don't erase every line. There we go. Now I have the placement of my jellyfish. Remember to leave room for the tentacles to hang down. This jellyfish is going to look like it's behind the other jellyfish because I'm going to have the tentacles go behind this. That is called overlapping. We've talked about that a lot. All right, let's talk about our colors. So when we go to make our jellyfish, we are going to be coloring the water blue and purple. You might want to avoid blue and purple in your jellyfish, but you can absolutely use them if you want to because the two colors will be very, very different. What I want you guys to do is to blend two colors together. We've talked about the color wheel. You guys know the color wheel very, very well. I want you guys to pick two colors that are next to each other on the color wheel so that they will blend together. So we are looking for blending. Orange and yellow will blend very, very well together. Yellow and green will also blend very, very well together. Now I do have brown and black, but I'm not going to use those colors because I want this to be bright and popping. All right. I think I'm going to do pink and red for my first jellyfish. If you want to have three colors blended together, you can also have three colors blended together. That would be fine. I would add an orange right here or maybe a purple next to the pink. Completely up to you. I'm going to start off with my uh, pink. I'm going to go across the top. I really like to move my paper, but I'm going to try to keep it straight for you guys. So now that I have colored the top pink, I've come a little bit more than halfway so that I can mix my red into the pink. So I'm going to start off down here. And if you can tell, I'm covering the whole entire paper. If you just do a fast little line, you see all these little white streaks? We don't want those white streaks. Keep going back over it until you have covered the whole page. If you're using crayons, same thing. Press kind of hard, not too hard that you're breaking the crayon. And then I'm taking the red, I'm pushing the red up. I still have a lot of white spots in here. If you want to, you can grab a tissue and you can rub all of this together. Um, so what I did is I took the tissue, I folded it a few times, folded it again, where it's kind of thick, rub it, and then I can blend my two colors together as well, or I will show you guys another way how to do this without the tissue. go back and I can add more color. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. All right, you can make all your jellyfish the same color if you want to. You don't have to. I'm going to get lots and lots of color on this paper. I know I said don't use light blue and dark blue, but I just love them together. I'm going to make this guy. Keep these. We still need to do those tentacles. Okay, so you remember the white patchy places? Go back, go over it again, and oil pastels will fill it all the way in. Okay, 
So instead of using a tissue, I'm only going to use the oil pastels. They get a little crumbly. That's okay. Now I'm going to take my light blue, mix it into that dark blue. And I can come back to my dark blue, mix it in again. And one more time with the light blue. And that's how you mix without a tissue. Maybe make these a little tiny bit darker here. Oh, if I wanted to. Remember how I talked about having three colors? I can go right on top with the purple. Mix the purple into the blue, making it even darker down here. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. So for this last jellyfish, let's keep mixing up those colors. I want to do light green and yellow. Flip to a new section of tissue. Kind of roll these two colors together. just to push it a little bit further. You don't have to do this, remember. Add a little dark green down here. Kind of like a shadow on the bottom. Now, it's time to add little legs. Add as many legs as you want. Wheelie legs. Some of them longer, some of them shorter. Just make sure they're all touching inside the body. You can have them overlap or do whatever you want them to do. There we go. And the pink and the red go behind this jellyfish, not on top. Crisscross some of them. wherever you want them to go. All right, I love these tentacles hanging everywhere. All right, just putting these back. Clean up as you go. Okay. I am done for today. Next time we're going to paint and we're going to add the watercolor paint with a wax resist. If you don't have paint in the next video, I'll show you a bunch of different ways to create paint, but I think you already know a lot of them. All right, guys, have fun creating your jellyfish. Don't have to do just three of them. You can do four of them, five of them, make them little ones, make them big ones. This undersea world is up to you. All right, guys. Happy creating!